Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. Let's just jump straight into the read for you. Um, yeah, I don't see there's any point in making a lot of big intro. Let's just get... Is that two? I'll take two. So two cards. Interesting. One's 59 and one's 61. So this is manifesting and doing. And the other is cozying up with risk. The deck that I'm going to use to clarify is actually the Rider Weight. <clears throat> so we have Four of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles. There is a lot of balancing going on. There is the fear of loss or you're holding back in making a choice. This can be something that you would really enjoy doing, possibly. You know, when you're manifesting things, it's like, ooh, and when it happens, it's like, ah, I don't know if I wanted that. But we also see that there's a risk there. <clears throat> and we see that cozying up with risk is not necessarily a bad thing. Once you get used to taking a risk, you can take bigger risks, then it doesn't affect you as badly. Um, your desire, though, is to move beyond the intention of doing something into believing. Now, this ties in perfectly well with what is going on. With the Tower, High Priestess, Four of Cups, and Judgment, it's like you're waiting for like that divine sign that cannot be mistaken but at the same time you're still kind of like well it's almost like you need to be shoved off the fence you're still desiring you know this change this this moving on manifestation whatever and it's yeah it just points to kind of a big shove because you're being it may be that deep down it looks like a good idea, but there's some fear there. And then we have the outcome of Creator Air. Now, Creator Air, this can be a few things. And it's looking at that critical thinking looking at all the things you know to be true and what is actually supporting you so this is being very very analytical queen of cups queen of swords eight of pentacles and the emperor This almost keeps pointing to love to some degree. With Queen of Cups here, this can be that even though you're being analytical about things, you can be very caught up in your emotions. But underneath that, we're looking with the Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You're being focused on your work and being in control of what you do. What's working for you, though? <clears throat> is the Ten of Swords. Something, something wiped you out. Something is over. Uh, or what you thought was over. Especially with this Nine of Cups here. This was like a dream that's over. And you're kind of leaving it behind. because it feels like it's done, it's finished. But we have justice here. It's not quite over yet. Seven of Swords, the Devil, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Swords, yeah, okay, somebody's being a little sneaky here. It may be tempting to sort of just ignore it with the Two of Swords, but what is that going to bring out later? 
We have the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. There's a lot going on for you. It's been going on for a while. Uh, you may have been struggling with different things for quite a while. And yet, there's this gift coming in to show you a different path with this Ace of Pentacles. There's a new start, possibly in work or career. And then we have the Page of Wands that's bringing that information through to you. Two more. <clears throat> Creator Alchemy and Cut the Cords of Doubt. So there is, you know, kind of what we've been talking about, that there has been a lot of uncertainty. But realize that with Creator Alchemy here, there's a lot that you are able to do. And Creator Alchemy, this is just figuring out the purpose and passion. Um, walking that new road to success. So, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, uh, we will see you next time. Stay safe.